Hi there and welcome back to the channel. In this video, we will explore the functionality of uploading general journal entries in the SAP s system using Fiori. Therefore, we navigate to the application called Upload General Journal Entries. By the way, you can only access this application if the respective business role is assigned to your user. In this instance, you can find out the business role via the so-called Fiori Reference Apps Library. Let me quickly show it to you. So on the Fiori Reference Apps Library homepage, by the way, I will leave you the link in the description of this video. We will search for Manage General Journal Entries. Here it is. Then go to Implementation Information, Configuration, and then just scroll down up until you can see the business role. So this particular business role, ZAP underscore BR underscore GL underscore accountant, must be assigned to your user so that you can see this particular application. Let's go back to the system and click on the application. Now you can see a pretty blank window and the only option we have over here is to download the template. Depending on the app version you are using, this particular button can also be displayed over here. Okay, let's click on download template. We can select language and also the format. I advise you to select the spreadsheet Excel template because it's just easier to fill and then click on download. Now display the downloaded Excel file and click on enable editing. Now you can see here different sections. So as you can see, there are two instructions over here, but I will explain you the most important details to fill this template right now. So as you can see from line seven till line 17, this counts for the first document. And then from line 18 up until line 27 and following counts for the second document. So with this particular template, we could upload two financial documents. If we want to upload more financial documents, we will simply select those lines over here and copy them down here. And then all we need to do is to change in the column A, the number to a three. And if you want one more, then you copy and paste and you change the three to a four and so on. So please always remember that you need to fill all of these header and line item information, meaning that let's actually delete those ones over here. And now let's imagine that we want to upload only one document. Then we can't leave this template as is because the system would now expect us to post two documents. So if you only want to upload one document, then you also need to delete those lines over here. This means that in the end, you need to specify exactly how many documents you want to upload and also fill the information accordingly. For now, we will upload only one document to the system. You can already see that there are some mandatory fields marked with an asterisk over here. The company code is mandatory. So let me insert my company code. The journal entry type is also mandatory. In most cases, it will be SA. Then we have the journal entry date. Here you need to make sure to select the right format. In my case, it's written like this. And we have the transactional currency, let's say Euro, and that's basically it. Those are the mandatory fields. You can for sure also fill the optional fields like the document header text or a ledger group, exchange rates, and so on. This is the information for the header of our documents. Now let's look at the line item. Here we could insert a company code as well, but it's not mandatory as the system will also look at the mandatory, as the system will also look over here in the header section to find the company code. But then, quite important, we need to insert our GL accounts and at least a debit and a credit. Let's say 1000 on this side and 1000 on the other side as well. That's basically it. For sure, we could also insert tax code information or also specific cost objects like cost center. But for now, this is fine. Please be aware that if you are missing some fields, you can actually enhance this template over here. Therefore, you need to go to the ZAP help page for this particular application. I will also leave you a link in the description of this video. And over here, you can see first of all important information about this application. And also you can see adding field columns in template. So here are all the fields you can add to the Excel template. For instance, let's just imagine we also want the tax fulfillment date in our template to be filled. In this instance, we will select this technical name over here and copy it. As you can see, this is the header section. In our template, we will scroll to the right and over here, we will insert the technical name, copy the format. And then also over here, we will write down text fulfillment date like that and also paint it the same as the rest. And this is how you can enhance the template. Pretty simple. Okay, let me actually 
delete this one over here because I don't need it right now. Let's save our template and close it. Now back in our application, we will select browse and we upload the template. As you can see, one journal entry was uploaded and saved as held journal entry. This is quite important because it is a two-step procedure. So first of all, we upload this particular journal entry to the system. You can see it has a temporary ID. And then in the second step, we can actually post. So let's click on post. And as you can see, one of one journal entries have been posted successfully. Let's click on OK. And we can select our uploaded item and click on show log. And here you can see both the upload and the posting were successful. We can actually inspect the posting via this button over here. And you can see the journal entry 2 was posted in company code 2022. Last but not least, we can display this journal entry. So navigate to the application called Manage Journal Entries, this one over here. Then select the company code. And you can see this is our journal entry. It has been posted successfully. We can also click on the journal entry and then inspect the details. And that's basically it. In this way, you can simply upload general journal entries to the SAP s system massively or individually. Thanks a lot for watching this video till the end. I hope you liked it. If so, then please subscribe to the channel and activate the bell. See you next time.